Have you ever pondered on why people gamble, even when the odds are often stacked against them? It's a question that might have crossed your mind when you hear about someone losing their entire life savings on a single dice roll or a spin of the roulette wheel. Gambling, you see, isn't always about money. For many, it's about the thrill, the adrenaline rush, the heart-pounding excitement of the unknown. It's this almost intoxicating allure of the game that reels people in, clouding their judgment and distorting their perception of reality. Much of this is driven by a psychological phenomenon known as the illusion of control. It's the deceptive belief that we have more influence over the outcome of a game of chance than we actually do. Our brains trick us into thinking we're in the driver's seat, dictating the course of events when in reality we're just passengers. So, what exactly is this illusion of control that gamblers often experience? The illusion of control is a cognitive bias where individuals overestimate their ability to control events. This is a fascinating phenomenon that delves into the depths of the human mind and its perception of reality. But what does it actually mean? And how does it relate to gambling? The illusion of control is a concept rooted in psychology. It describes a situation where we believe we have more influence over an outcome than we actually do. For example, you might think that wearing your lucky socks will help your favorite team win the game. In reality, of course, your socks have no influence on the game's outcome, but your brain convinces you that they do creating an illusion of control. In the context of gambling, this illusion becomes even more potent. The roll of the dice, the spin of the roulette wheel, the shuffle of the cards, these are all random events, unpredictable and uncontrollable. Yet gamblers often believe they can influence these outcomes, that they have some sort of secret strategy or lucky charm that will tip the scales in their favor. This illusion can be incredibly deceiving. It can cause gamblers to make irrational decisions to bet more than they can afford to lose, to keep playing even when it's clear they're on a losing streak. They're not just playing the game, they're playing against their own minds, against this illusion of control. But why is our brain so insistent on creating this illusion? Why do we so desperately want to believe we have control over the uncontrollable? Psychologists suggest it's a coping mechanism, a way for our minds to deal with the uncertainty and unpredictability of life. If we believe we have control, we feel safer more secure. It's a comforting thought, even if it's not based in reality, and therein lies the danger. Because while this illusion may provide temporary comfort, it can lead to long-term harm, particularly in the world of gambling. It can push people to take risks they wouldn't otherwise take, to chase losses they can't afford to chase, to get caught up in a cycle of gambling addiction. So how does this illusion become so powerful in the world of gambling? Gambling, at its core, is a psychological game. Now that's not to say it doesn't involve strategy or skill, but the mind plays a significant role in the allure of gambling. Let's dive a bit deeper into this. Imagine yourself at a casino. The lights are flashing, the machines are whirring, and there's a palpable sense of anticipation in the air. This anticipation is one of the key psychological factors that draw people to gambling. There's a certain thrill that comes with not knowing what's going to happen next, with the possibility of a huge payoff just around the corner. Now. Let's add in the element of risk. The possibility of losing something valuable, your hard-earned money, in this case, heightens the stakes. It's the classic risk-reward scenario, and it's a powerful motivator. The greater the risk, the greater the potential reward, and that's a potent mix for our brains. Finally, there's the hope of winning. The thought of hitting that jackpot, of walking away a winner, is incredibly enticing. It's this hope that keeps people playing, even when the odds are stacked against them. These factors, anticipation, the thrill of risk, and the hope of winning, all contribute to what we call the illusion of control. This is the belief that, despite the odds, we can somehow influence the outcome of a game of chance. And it's this illusion that can lead gamblers to make irrational decisions to keep playing even when they're losing, in the hope that their luck will turn around. But here's the thing, the house always has the edge. The odds are always in favor of the casino, but our brains, caught up in the thrill and the hope, often overlook this fact. This is why understanding the psychology of gambling is so vital. Now that we understand the psychology behind gambling and the illusion of control, how can we recognize and manage it? In the next scene, we'll explore how to do just that. Stay tuned. Scene script. Recognizing the illusion of control in gambling is the first step towards managing it. Ah, recognition. The golden bridge between ignorance and enlightenment. But what are the signs that we're under the spell of this illusion? Well, let's dive in. First up, we have overconfidence. 
Yes, that heady sense of invincibility that comes with a few wins. It's like a siren call, luring us deeper into the treacherous seas of gambling. Overconfidence can blind us to the cold, hard reality of chance. We start believing we're invincible, that we've cracked the code. But remember, every roll of the dice, every spin of the wheel, is a fresh start, independent of what happened before. Next, we have the infamous habit of ignoring the odds. When we're under the illusion of control, we tend to underestimate the house edge. We forget that casinos are not built on winners. The odds are always stacked against us, no matter how many times we've won before. Then, there's the classic case of attributing wins to skill rather than luck. It's all too easy to believe we've mastered the game when we're on a winning streak. But let's be real. Gambling is about chance, not skill. Even the most experienced gamblers can't predict the outcome of a game. It's like believing you can control the weather because you correctly guessed it would rain today. And finally, there's the illusion of patterns. We humans are pattern-seeking creatures. We love to find order in chaos. But in gambling, randomness rules. Just because red has come up five times in a row on the roulette wheel doesn't mean black is due next. Each spin is a separate event, independent of the last. Recognizing these signs is the first step in breaking free from the illusion of control. It's not about stopping the fun, it's about playing smart and understanding the game for what it really is. Once we recognize this illusion, what can we do to manage it? But that, dear friends, is a discussion for our next scene. Stay tuned. Managing the illusion of control in gambling can lead to healthier gambling habits. Now let's delve into how we can manage this illusion of control. The first step is acknowledging that outcomes in gambling are largely random and beyond our control. This can be a bitter pill to swallow, but it's an essential one. Let's consider a roulette wheel. No matter how many times you've seen the ball land on red, it doesn't mean it's more likely to land on black the next time. Each spin is an independent event, unaffected by previous spins. This understanding can help curb the tendency to fall into the gambler's fallacy, where one believes that past events can predict future outcomes. Next, setting gambling limits is an effective strategy. Decide beforehand how much money you're willing to risk and stick to that limit. This can be a daily, weekly, or monthly limit, depending on your gambling frequency. The key is to treat this limit as an absolute. Once you've hit your limit, it's time to walk away, no matter how lucky you're feeling. Understanding the odds is another crucial strategy. Odds are the probability of a particular outcome happening. They're not just numbers. They're your guide to understanding the likelihood of winning. For example, in a simple coin toss, the odds of getting heads or tails are equal, one to one. In contrast, hitting a single number on a roulette wheel has odds of 37 to one. This means that for every 38 spins, you're likely to hit your number once. Understanding these odds can help you make informed decisions about where to place your bets. Finally, consider seeking support if you're finding it difficult to manage your gambling habits. There are numerous resources available, from self-help books to professional counselors that can provide assistance. Remember, the house always has the edge, and understanding the illusion of control can help us make wiser decisions. With these strategies in place, we can gamble more responsibly, appreciating the game for the entertainment it provides rather than seeing it as a potential source of income. So what have we learned about the illusion of control and the psychology of gambling? We've uncovered the gambler's illusion, understanding that it's a psychological phenomenon where we believe we can control or influence outcomes, even when they are clearly determined by chance. This illusion of control is a significant factor in the world of gambling, often leading us to make risky decisions based on false beliefs. We've delved into the psychology of gambling, recognizing that it's not just about winning or losing, but also about the thrill of the game, the allure of the unknown, and the excitement of potential rewards. We've learned to recognize the illusion, to see it for what it really is, a trick of the mind that can lead us to gamble more than we should. And finally, we've discussed strategies to manage this illusion, to keep it in check so it doesn't lead us into making damaging decisions. With understanding and management, we can ensure that the illusion of control doesn't lead us down a risky path in the